I want you to pray like somebody that means business with God tonight. I want you to pray, pray and pray and say, Lord, I want to touch your grace. Lord, I want your hand upon my life. Lord, I want your hand upon my life. Lord, I want your intervention tonight. I want to experience your power and your grace. Regatila kata bababo, oh la bababa sata baraka, radia sada baladia bado. You are a God that answers prayer, and to you shall all flesh come. For by your great acts of power, you will answer us, oh God, our salvation. For you are the hope of the whole world. You are the hope of the whole world. You say, call unto me and I will answer you. I will show you great and mighty things that you know not of. Can you pray and say, Lord, tonight I call unto you. You say you will answer and you will show me great and mighty things. You will manifest great and mighty things that I do not know. And so I call tonight. I call tonight. I place a demand tonight on the power of God. Ala basaka babola ragatila kata bababa zabalia kabrande ratila batakaya zadia kababalante rabababande asada babo rabababande le si babalata ratila pateya zakata parakata rakapande kelebrandia selegedia balata Radia soba balakina, raka manasila, ya kababante kababa, ele brandia tababo. The Bible says in Acts chapter 4, from verse 28, the disciples gather themselves and pray. They say, Lord, behold the threatening of your people, and grant that in the name of your son Jesus, signs and wonders will be wrought. They say, Lord, stretch your hands to heal. Cause the signs and wonders and miracles 
will be done in the name of your son Jesus. The Bible said when they prayed, the place was shaken. They were filled with the Holy Ghost. They were filled with the Holy Ghost. They spoke the word of God with boldness and with great power. The apostles bear witness to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus. The Bible said great grace was upon them all. I don't know what situation is threatening you. They say, Lord, behold the threatening. I don't know what threatened you before you came. I don't know the threat over your family, the threat over your life, the threat over your destiny, the threat over your health. I don't know what that threat is. But tonight can you cry and say, Lord, behold the threatening of the enemy. Like Hezekiah, when he was threatened by the enemy, he came and spread the letter that Sennacherib sent before the Lord. Can you bring that case before the Lord? Can you present that situation, that threat before the Lord? That threat over your life, that threat over your health, that threat over your marriage, that threat over your family, whatever threats that the enemy is bringing upon your life, I want to present the threat before the Lord. Present the threat before the Lord. So Lord, behold the threatening of the enemy and grant that signs and wonders and miracles will be done in the name of Jesus. Grant, O oh God, that miracles will be done tonight. Grant, O oh God, that your power to bring interventions will be released tonight. Behold the threatening. Behold the threatening. Maybe there's a threat over the health of your child. Maybe there's a threat over the life of your daughter, the life of your son. There is a threat of the enemy over your family, over the destiny of your family. Can you bring it up before the Lord? Like Sennacherib, threatening Israel and Hezekiah brought the report before the Lord. Can you bring the report? Can you bring the report? Can you bring the report and say, Oh God, that answers prayer. Behold the threat of the enemy. Behold the threat of the enemy. Behold the threat of the enemy. The threat over your finances. The threat, the threat, the threat. Behold the threat over your life. The threat. Maybe the enemy has threatened you that you will not go beyond this point. Maybe the enemy has kept you on this spot. Can you present the threat before the God that answers prayer? The God that hears. The God that answers prayer. Ah, Shabalatakaba. Alabradia Sobelegadias. Lakamanino. Ile Bragadiza. The hand of the Lord is upon us tonight. God is here to turn impossible situation for the things that are impossible with men they are possible with God they are possible with God that situation may look impossible but not with God not with God for with God all things are possible I don't know what the condition is I don't know what the situation is I don't know what the threat is but with God Nothing shall be impossible. Nothing shall be impossible. I don't know what doors will shut against you. I don't know what powers will threaten you. But tonight that door is being opened. Tonight that door that is shut against your life is opening tonight. It's opening tonight. Tonight that power that is threatening you is going to bow. It's going to bow. It's going to bow. That power is arrested tonight. That power is arrested tonight. That power that has kept you on one spot. That power is arrested tonight. That power has slipped in your body. That spirit is arrested tonight. Alabala sede belegedia. Ikabala tekeve. Reketakila. 
Rababa sakati la barakata Ikata baba lakida Ila brande kula bande Ila mamande le sila kuva vatai Ila mama mama masia Ika balante keve Rababande kula babo Ala brande ako Selele mona la vrandi a cobelida, regadi la baradi, la gradi la barate. Tonight the hand of the Lord is stretched on your behalf. Tonight the hand of the Lord is stretched forth on your behalf. Is stretched forth on your behalf. Is stretched forth on your behalf. God is stretching his hand. God is stretching his hand on your behalf. God is changing. Is changing the situation. Is changing that situation. Is changing that situation. Oh, there is a working of miracles tonight. There is a working of miracles tonight. That door is opening for you tonight. You will enter into that door. You will enter into that door. That door that has been shut is opening now. It's opening now. It's opening tonight. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Oh, thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. The angel told Mary in Luke chapter 1, verse 37. He said, For with God, nothing shall be impossible. Nothing, nothing, absolutely nothing. With God, nothing shall be impossible. He's a God of wonders. He's a God of miracles. He's a God that doeth wondrous things. With Him, nothing, nothing shall be impossible. Can you take your seat in the presence of God? With God, nothing shall be impossible. For the things that are impossible with men are possible with God. For all things are possible. To him that believes. To him that believes. When we come before the presence of God, we must realize that we are walking, we are dealing with a God with whom there is no impossibility. Hallelujah. You're welcome to prophetic healing and deliverance service. Hallelujah. You're welcome. Can you turn to your right or to your left and tell your brother, your sister, you're welcome. You're welcome. Amen. With God, nothing shall be impossible. Jeremiah chapter 32, verse 27. He said, Behold, I'm the Lord God. Is there anything too hard for me to do? Is there anything too hard for me? You know, many times in our minds, we categorize the situations around our lives. We believe that some things are possible. And somehow in our heart, we do not yet accept. We know God can do all things. But we do not yet accept that God can change situations around our lives. That God can intervene. That God can change predicaments. That God can bring miracles for us. That God can end circles and patterns in our lives. He said, Behold, I'm the Lord, the God of all flesh. Is there anything too hard for me? He's called the God of all flesh. He's called the Father of all spirit. He can summon all flesh. He can summon all spirit. He can command all spirit to go and they will go. He can command all spirit to come and they will come. Because he's the God of all flesh. He's the Father of all spirit. This is God saying that I'm the Lord. Is there anything too hard for me? I'm the Lord, the God of all flesh. Is there anything too hard for me? I want you to believe the Lord tonight. Oh, believe. I believe in miracles. I believe in miracles. I believe in open doors. 
I believe that God can end situations. See, every need of your life, I want you to believe, I want you to know that God is committed to supplying your needs. There are certain needs of your life that will require the miraculous interventions of God. God is a God of miracles. In, in Psalms chapter 34, and verse 9, he said, Fear the Lord, O ye saints. Fear the Lord, O ye saints of God. For there is no lack to them that fear the Lord. Fear the Lord, O ye saints of God. Because there is no lack to them that fear the Lord. It says, For the young lions do hunger and lack the young lions as powerful as a lion is the bible says even the young lions do hunger and lack it says but they that seek the lord shall lack no good thing shall not want any good thing can you see that any good thing not some they that seek the lord shall not want any good thing it means we shall not be in lack of any good thing but you see now walk with god is to you according to your faith god will not always go beyond your faith beyond your expectation he will deal with you according to your faith say the young lions as powerful as a lion is in the jungle but you see even the offspring of the lion can lack they can hunger say but they that seek the lord shall lack no good thing god is committed to supplying our needs and many times when we seek the lord like this he stretches forth his hand miraculously and he begins to supply he begins to open the doors that needs to be opened he begins to break the yokes that needs to be broken everything that his people need if it's deliverance you need if it's healing you need if it's direction you need in your life if it's provision whatever you need there is no lack to him that seek the lord there is no lack verse 19 says many are the afflictions of the righteous but the lord delivers him out of them all many are the afflictions of the righteous so whatever affliction, whatever pain, whatever suffering, whatever trouble, whatever predicament that the righteous finds himself in, the Bible says the Lord would deliver him out of them all. So if you reach out to God in faith, God will deliver you out of all, not some. God does not choose, I'll deliver you out of this and then I'll leave this. Say in five things the Lord will deliver you, yea in seven. He will deliver you from famine. He will deliver you from the sword. He will deliver you from hunger. He will de deliver you from the scorching of the sun. He will deliver you from death. So when we come seeking God, we are coming in confidence that God answers, that God works miracles. The miracles of God are beyond just healing miracles. That's just one side of miracles. God wants to work miracles in your family. He wants to work miracles in your finances. The Bible in Psalm 105 verse 37. It says he brought them out with silver and with gold. And there was none feeble among their tribes. He brought them out with silver and gold. He brought them out of Egypt, out of the land of captivity. He brought them out, how? With silver and gold. And there was none that was feeble. There was none that was weak. There was none that was in affliction. There was none that was sick among their tribe. He brought them out. He didn't just deliver them. He said to them, he brought them out with silver and gold. Let me tell you, God can supply miraculously. He can do it. And as a believer, you've got to believe it. Because if you want to labor and work for everything that you need in life, get ready. 
you must believe no matter how much you earn no matter how much you make from your job or from your business you must believe in the miraculous provisions of god i believe that as we pray tonight god is going to supply for people miraculously god is going to supply for people miraculously he's going to release money miraculously He's going to bring provision, finances miraculously. For some of you, he will answer the deepest question of your heart. He will give you a job. He will give you an idea. He will give you a business. Suddenly you will find out that the anointing to prosper has come upon you. Because they that seek the Lord shall lack no good thing. He will work a miracle. It will heal that child. It will heal that family member. Let me tell you tonight, if you have any family member who is sick, who is oppressed, who is in a very desperate situation, a terminal condition, I want you to reach out in faith as we pray. Because as we declare, the hand of God will be released. Even people who are not here will be healed. You know, over the weekend in, in Langtai in Bokos, we had some very beautiful miracles. God opening the eyes of the blind, opening the ears of the deaf, healing the lame, walking all sorts of miracles. But you see, when we gather like this, it is beyond healing. There are many of you, it's not bodily healing you need. But you see, the power of God can open doors of provision. The power of God can open miraculous doors for you. The power of God can cause a supernatural connection to happen for you. Miracles are not limited to healings. What are miracles? They are the supernatural interventions of God in the affairs of men. God can suspend the laws of nature. God can suspend protocols he can change laws the bible says he changes laws he changes times and seasons he can change laws he can change protocols for you so that even something that you are not qualified for suddenly god opens the door for you that's a miracle so he can change laws he can change protocols he can change both natural laws and human laws are you saying that so when god stepped forth to bring about a miraculous intervention he can alter both natural laws and human laws so that opportunities open up to you he can deal with ancient foundations and bring people out and release people he said many are the afflictions of the righteous but the lord delivers him out of them all deliverance doesn't just mean that demon deliverance is beyond demons leaving somebody to deliver means to rescue to bring you out of a situation situations that bring pain many are the afflictions of the righteous maybe there's a financial situation that is causing you pain that is causing suffering that is bringing trouble he said he delivers them out of it therefore he can deliver you out of a financial situation he can deliver you out of a health situation he can deliver you out of a marital situation he can deliver you over a threat of death he will deliver his people out of every affliction because he's a god of miracles he can bring miracles that will bring you out of situations that you never imagined that can happen. Beyond healings. And for those of you who came needing the touch of God in your body, let me tell you, the power of God can even alter your genotype. Yes, I've seen it. I've seen God change the genotype of the person. Of people he can do it so when we pray place a demand I'm stirring your faith place a demand believe God 
when we begin to pray when we begin to declare the word of god respond in faith receive He will deliver you out of any predicament out of any situation that caused pain that caused worry there are some of you when you think about your parents marriage you are in trouble you feel pain god can heal that marriage or maybe you have a loved one that have a long-standing health situation that looks impossible god can deliver that person he can bring the person out hallelujah you see when i pray these days i and i study the word of god i stretch my mind i stretch my mind to believe god for whatever look impossible i stretch my mind i believe god as a god of miracles that if i'm the only one on earth that needs a miracle god will do it if you were the only person that was on earth jesus would have still come to die Galatians chapter 5 tells us Galatians chapter 3 verse 5 it says he that ministers the spirit and walketh miracles among you does he do it by the works of the law or by the hearing of faith it means when you hear the word of God and you respond by faith the spirit of God the power of God can be released to work miracles faith in the word of god can release the miraculous can release the impossible he that minister to you the spirit so god can minister the spirit to you he can work miracles how does he work miracles by the means by the supply of the spirit by the ministration of the spirit when his spirit is released miracles are worked but you see the supply of the spirit and the workings of miracles are connected to your faith he said is it by the works of the law is it something that you merit or is it by the hearing of faith it's by faith the bible said by faith are you saved is it through grace you are saved by faith it is not of works lest any man should boast read throughout the gospel every time jesus responds to the cry of people it is because of their faith every time jesus works miracles in the lives of people it is because of their faith say i have not seen this kind of faith not in israel every time he walks it's by faith the woman with the issue of blood touched him by faith power was released the centurion said no i'm not worthy to have you come to my house just speak the word and my servant shall be healed and jesus said i've not seen this kind of faith not in israel and jesus spoke and the bible said that very moment his servant was healed so tonight let your faith come alive the last we declare the word of god the spirit of god will go into action as we declare there will be the supply of the spirit and the workings of miracles so let your faith connect with the supply of the spirit that's what bets miracle let your faith connect with the word of god that's what bets miracle in amos chapter 3 verse 12 the prophet gave a very powerful parable amos chapter 3 verse 12 He said, Thus hears the Lord, as the shepherd taketh out of the mouth of the lion two legs or a piece of an ear. He said, So shall the children of Israel be taken out that dwell in Samaria in the corner of a bed and in Damascus in a couch. He said, As the shepherd taketh out of the mouth of a lion, what? Two legs or a piece of an ear. He said, So shall the children of Israel be delivered. For many years i read this scripture i wonder why does the shepherd needs to take out of the mouth of a lion a sheep has been devoured why does the shepherd needs to take out two, at least two legs from the mouth of the lion or a piece of an ear it is a powerful faith principle god is teaching us that it doesn't matter what the lion it doesn't matter what satan who comes like a lion like a roaring lion has devoured 
it doesn't matter what he has devoured in your life if only you can hear the word of God and respond by faith there will be a supernatural miracle of restoration that's what God is telling to Israel he said the way a shepherd would take out of the mouth of a lion two legs or a piece of an ear he said this is how Israel will be taken out of Samaria this is how I'm going to deliver Israel this is how I'm going to restore Israel why the ear the Bible says faith comes by hearing and by hearing by the word of God why the legs the Bible says we walk by faith and not by sight so you need to hear the word of God and take what a response of faith you need to take a walk of faith that's how the power of God is released that's how the creative power of God is released so God is saying if you can hear the word and respond in faith it doesn't matter what has been devoured in your life it doesn't matter what you have lost it doesn't matter what the enemy has destroyed the creative power of God will be released because faith comes by hearing so the shepherd will need to rescue an ear so that you can hear the word he that supplies the spirit and worketh miracles how does he do it by the hearing of faith so you must hear the word every time people receive miracles in the new testament they heard about jesus they heard him speak or they heard a report of what he had done so the hearing of faith is very powerful The Bible says in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 7, we walk by faith and not by sight. So you need to hear the word and then you need to respond. You need to respond when you hear the word. You need to act because faith is not passive. Faith is an action word. And as you hear the word of God and respond by faith, you will find out that that disease is gone you'll find out that condition is gone while I was praying I saw that the Lord was healing somebody who have like fat around the heart and in large heart God is healing you the healing power of God is coming into your heart the healing power of God is coming into your heart in the last two weeks we've had testimony of I've counted at least 10 people who have been healed of heart conditions at least 10 people who have been healed of heart conditions so if you have anything to do with the heart and enlarge heart I just saw that as we are speaking, the power of God is released to heal somebody's heart. If you are here with that condition, the power of God is upon you. As I speak the word of God, the healing power of God is upon you. Your heart is being healed now. And that pressure upon your heart dissolves. That heart condition is being healed now. That heart palpitation is being healed now. That a large heart is shrinking now in the name of the Lord Jesus. Tonight, as we pray, God says for you to believe. Believe in miracles. Believe in the working of miracles. Believe for your family. That God will bring about miraculous supplies, miraculous interventions. Oh, thank you, Lord Jesus. Miraculous intervention. God is healing someone right now of blood disease. Blood disease. Thank you, Father. Thank you for the walkings of miracles. Thank you for the walkings of miracles. Thank you for healings. Oh, thank you, Lord Jesus. Barnabas, God is doing something in your life. I'm seeing the power of God touching you. 
I'm seeing the Lord doing a healing in your body. A healing. There's a condition you were healed, it's gone, and then it keeps reoccurring. God says his power is touching you now. He's touching you now. And I'm seeing him touching, touching even that pain around breathing. That pain that affects your breathing. Like around your chest. Right now the power of God touches you. Heal! In the name of the Lord Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus. That pain lives right now. That pain lives right now. That condition is gone in the name of the Lord Jesus and it will not return again because you are totally healed. And even something that has to do with the blood, God is healing you. Total healing. Total healing. Total healing. By the power of the Spirit. Total healing. Total healing. And I see the Lord open a door before you. I see the Lord set an open door before you. The Lord set an open door for you in this season. In this season. He set an open door for you. And you are going to watch and see that within now the next six months, there's been supernatural turnaround. 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 Even around your finances. There is a turnaround. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Oh, la I say the Lord rolling away afflictions. Rolling away afflictions. There are things that God is settling in the lives of people now. He's settling in the families of people. Things that have caused your family pain. Things that have constituted reproach for your family. I see the Lord rolling away the reproach. He's rolling away the reproach. He's rolling away reproaches from the lives of people. He's rolling away reproach from families. Suddenly you will turn and realize that that condition, that pain, that affliction has been removed from your family. There is an intervention. There is an intervention. Oh, Labakata Brondo Siba. The Bible says, is anyone afflicted, let him pray. Is anyone merry, let him sing. Is anyone sick, let him call the elders of the church. Let them pray for him. Anointing him with oil. And the prayer of faith shall save him. Oh, Jesus. We give you glory. Can you just lift up your hands and worship him? Just give him glory. Alabo Seveles Cavro Copa Sica Eco Mele Subra Catapa Cabrundo Sile Cavina Mokaya. Can you pray and believe the Lord right now? Right now, right now, right now. This service is like no other. Just pray. Before I came, I prayed and I said, Lord let there be specific miracles specific interventions 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 and i see the lord particularly intervening in family situations there are some of you there has been situations in your family that has caused pain that has caused shame that has brought tears to your family and today the lord is rolling away the reproach the lord is removing the shame the Lord is removing the shame. There is a supply of the Spirit and the waters of miracles. There is a working of miracles in your bodies. There is a working of miracles in your finances. There is a working of miracles in your finances. Oh, there are some of you, you are going to see the miracles that God will give. Miracles in finances miracles in business miracles even with jobs with jobs with jobs oh glory to god is anyone afflicted let him pray is there a situation that has brought pain that has caused your family to suffer that has brought reproach that has brought sorrow 
what is that thing in your family that every time you think about your heart is broken you feel pain God can remove it it can be rolled away tonight it can be rolled away tonight if you believe you will see the glory of God it may even look impossible it may be a long-standing situation Martha said if you have been here my brother will not have died Jesus said your brother will live again she said I understand he will live again on the day of resurrection Jesus said I'm the resurrection and the life he that believes in me shall never die it doesn't matter what the enemy has tampered with he that believes in me shall never die because I am the resurrection and the life I am the resurrection and the life he that believes in me shall never die it doesn't matter what the enemy seeks to destroy it doesn't matter what the enemy has attacked he that believes in me shall never die can you pray can you stand pray stand on your feet and pray and ask the lord for a miracle tonight there are doors that must open there are gates that must open there are walls that must come down there are captivities that must end today the bible said when the lord turned again the captivity of zion we were like them that dreamed that it was said among the hidden the lord has done them great things therefore they rejoice Turn again our captivity, O oh God, like the streams of the south. It's a day that goes forth with tears, bearing precious seeds. They shall doubtless return, bringing in the sheaves. I don't know what area you have you have been crying. I don't know what area you've been going, sowing seed in tears. But God is turning away captivity captivity tonight. Alabrakamananeya. Ila barakele, ifalate, abrando sika bantela, regadila barakata, hafelemila barateke, hakele ziza valataya, akamalatela, rababaseleke, reketo balakata. It doesn't matter what the devil has stolen from your life. There is a restoration tonight. There is restoration tonight. Ha samakaba rakaba tekebe rekete balakata ala brande sila legredis kapalia lakoto balika reketila baraka can you say power of god power of god invade my life tonight invade my family tonight everything that the enemy has planted let it be uprooted let it be uprooted let there be miraculous intervention let the power of god let the power of god let the power of god let him visit your life let him visit your marriage let him visit your family say power of god come upon my life come upon my life everything that the enemy has intercepted let it be destroyed let the handwriting of the enemy be wiped away let the hand of the enemy be broken open your mouth and pray say power of god come into my life come upon my life everything that the enemy has written let it be right written away let the handwriting of the enemy be blotted out be blotted out be blotted out let that predicament come to an end let the wickedness of the wicked come to an end let the power of god prevail tonight prevail tonight even in your marriage let the hand of god let the hand of god let the hand of god prevail let there be workings of miracles Ah, Shama Makata. everything that the enemy has planted in your life tonight it is uprooted tonight it is uprooted tonight it is uprooted in the name of jesus that sickness that disease in your blood in your bones in your heart in your eyes they are uprooted they are uprooted tonight the hand of the enemy is broken the power of the enemy is broken the power of the enemy is broken 
every wall that has hindered you every wall of Jericho that has hindered your advancement that has hindered your progress tonight by the power of God they are coming down open your mouth and pray and say every wall of Jericho that have been on my path that have hindered me by the anointing of God's Spirit by the power of the Holy Ghost they are falling they are coming down I command the walls to come down I command the walls be destroyed be destroyed be destroyed be destroyed be destroyed there is a working of miracles for you there is a working of miracles for you there is a working there is a working of miracles for your family let your faith reach out to God say God of all flesh there is nothing that is too hard for you Mano Makabalateko Asetalia Kabanti Haratiko Belida Sabalande Kelegadia Ela Baragadia Bado Mandala Basi Kabati Leketika Barate The Bible says he sent forth his word and his word healed them and delivered them from their destruction. His word delivered them from the pit. Every pit that Satan has put you, every situation around your life that represents a pit that you do not know the way out, the hand of God comes on you. The power of God brings you out of the pit. The power of God brings you out, out of that financial pit, out of that grievous situation. Laboro menenes, ligo do balagadias, la capatele, raca babatai, acababondo lo brede, arade que les iba. A la mananona, rabelegadia badasta, la caballato, jadilo con betila, acabondo saprata, racabaliga balacaya. every captivity in your family i declare your family is coming out i decree the prison doors are broken now the prison doors are broken now the prison doors are broken now your family is coming out your family is coming out you are coming out of that pit you are coming out of that pit that pit of sickness you are coming out of the pit of sickness you are coming out of the pit of poverty you are coming out of the pit of witchcraft bondage you are coming out that pit of stagnation that pit of stagnation that pit of delay in your life that pit that has trapped you so that you can advance into the plans and the purposes of God by the hand of God you are coming out you are coming out every veil that has covered you every veil that has covered you every veil that has covered your glory that has covered your star i declare right now in the name of jesus let the veil be destroyed let the veil be destroyed let the veil be destroyed let your star begin to shine let your glory be begin to manifest let your glory begin to manifest by the anointing of the holy ghost by the power of god by the power of god by the power of god I see someone that has been veiled by witchcraft works. The power of God is coming on you. The power of God comes on you now. That witchcraft veil is destroyed. That witchcraft veil is destroyed. I release you now. I release you now. Come out of that veil. 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 Of that, veil. that veil of affliction. That veil of oppression. You are coming out. 
Alabaya Pabalagadas, Lagabaragada, Ragada Badaya Gada, Ragabada Gabadia, Lagodo Baragadia Badosa, Mandalia Monte, Avila Baratila, Asamanato, Pababante Le Curia, Elia Barate, Legrede Selegedia. People are coming out of the pits, out of the pit that the enemy has stopped for them, out of the pits of captivity, out of that pit you are coming out, you are coming out, you are coming out, in the name of the Lord Jesus, in the name of the Lord Jesus, in the name of the Lord Jesus. Every power fighting your family every far power contending with the glory of your family i declare they are broken now i declare they are broken now i break the hold of that power and i release your family i release your family i release your family into their inheritance enter into your inheritance in the name of the lord jesus hey Hey, hey, there is a walking of miracles. There is a walking of miracles. God of all flesh, with whom there is no impossibility. La barana natela, ikebelekito valate, ragabadagadia. Legondo sabronto skila raka pante keleka raka baba balagadia bado regadila gada bado for it shall come to pass on that day that the burden shall be taken off your shoulders and the yoke of your neck and it shall be destroyed because of the anointing i decree right now by the anointing of the spirit every burden that the enemy has put upon your life i remove it right now i remove it right now i remove it right now every demonic load that the enemy has placed over your head i do remove it right now every satanic yoke that the enemy has put on your neck every yoke that binds you i command that yoke be broken i command that yoke be broken i command that yoke be broken i command that you break 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 yes 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 every demonic load that have weighed you down let the load be removed let the load of sickness be removed let it be removed from your life let it be removed from your life by the power of god by the power of god by the power of god in the name of the lord jesus oh jesus oh jesus i'm giving you the next five minutes can you bring a body to the lord can you mention mention that situation mention that situation mention that situation that has weighed on your life that has weighed on your family tonight 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 let there be a miraculous intervention let the hand of the lord let the hand of the lord go to work now let the hand of the lord begin to work let that situation be arrested be arrested be arrested be arrested be arrested oh mama na te kovalai hali amando robo kosa zekata balata raga balagadi abado ila mama de le kotova zile gede liga baragadaska mando lo brondo susa prakata ika babala tekete Lika papaliando ro, ila brando suka babalate, ila gadega liga baragadaska, ila brando supaliambalate, 
Il est grandi sa pandeco, vele katala, rakabandi kabalandi, liga bala subra gadiska. Oh, thank you, Lord Jesus. 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 Wherever you are, I want you to put your hand on your stomach. Put your hand on your stomach. Put your hand on your stomach. That's what I'm instructed to do. To ask you to do. Put your hand on your stomach. Because the power of God is going into people's stomach. It's going to people's bodies. The Lord says he wants to remove plantings of the wicked from the bodies of people. From the bodies of people. Some of you is growth, lungs. They are going to dissolve. I see witchcraft installations. The power of God right now. Put your hand on your stomach. Your both hands on your stomach. Your both hands on your stomach. Hey, Father, right now, let your power move. Let your power move. Let every stranger lock in in their belly. Every stranger in the womb, in the stomach region. Every stranger in your belly, in your body. Right now, in the name of Jesus, let the power of God begin to go into your belly, begin to go into your stomach, begin to go into your body. Every stranger, strange diseases, strange sicknesses, every attack on your womb. You are a lady, your womb, your reproductive organ, every infection, every disease, every blood condition. Right now, by the power of God, at the count of three, the power of God will begin to touch. At the count of three, one, two, three. Power of God, touch, 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 touch. Let that pain, let it come out now. Let it come out now. Let that demonic implantation, let it come out. Let that lungs, let it be dissolved. Let it begin to dissolve. Some of you will feel the fire. The fire is burning. The fire is burning. The fire is burning. Lungs are dissolving. Infection, blood disease, witchcraft projections. They are coming out now. Oh yes. 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 Jesus. Jesus. I'm seeing someone. You will press the place. You will not feel the growth. You will not feel the lump. Press the place. That lump, that growth. If you can't feel the lump, the growth, raise your hand. If you can't feel the lump, the growth, the power of God is working there. The power of God is working there. Oh yes. Jesus. 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 Ushers, bring that sister for me. In the middle row, the two of them. In the worship team. The two of them to the right. Ola panemo seveli kaba. Irabalandia cobra gadiska. Lambrogo diabada. Dr. Morris, come. Ola mama se sevre gadiska. Labrocoto balagadia. Put your hand here. I'm seeing the Lord doing a, a healing. I'm seeing the Lord doing a healing. Healing. What is it? I'm seeing the Lord doing a healing. It's healing around the stomach region. Down like underneath. The Lord is doing a healing. The Lord is doing a healing. The Lord says there will be nothing concerning the prostrate. There will be no situation with the prostrate. He said he's doing a healing. Because I'm seeing the bladder, the prostrate region down. God says he's doing a miracle for you. So you won't need to go through the trouble. He's doing a miracle for you. And so Father, right now, in the name of the Lord Jesus, I command the pain, even the sharp pain. Sometimes you feel like a swelling, like a swelling down there. I command it heal 
in the name of the Lord Jesus your blood are down towards the prostrate receive the healing touch now heal in the name of the Lord Jesus receive your miracle you are here the pain is gone even the swelling is gone heal by the power of God in the name of the Lord Jesus in the name of the Lord Jesus come out come out out of our stomach out come out Jesus 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 I release the touch of God I release the touch of God I command the pain right now to go to go to go to go to go even the sharp all pain. look at me look at me even the sharp all pain. I command it go heal in the name of the Lord Jesus you will find that within now the next five days as you leave this meeting you will not experience the pain it is gone right in this meeting it is gone and you are totally healed in the name of Jesus thank you Lord thank you Lord thank you Lord thank you Jesus just lift up your hands and worship him thank you Jesus thank you Jesus thank you Jesus thank you Jesus there is someone I see passing blood 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 the power of God is coming to touch you now the power of God is entering you I command that flow of blood to dry up I command that flow of blood to dry up dry up now dry up now dry up now in the name of Jesus I command that bleeding to cease in the name of the Lord Jesus in the name of the Lord Jesus who is that person with a heart condition you feel like your heart your heart you have like an enlarged heart your heart beats very fast where are you where are you this is a time 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 your heart father let there be perfection let your hand come upon him right now touch touch in the name of the lord jesus i declare total healing i declare perfection in the name of the lord jesus oh 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 jesus thank you father thank you father come linda right is that linda come thank you lord jesus thank you lord jesus lift up your hands lift up your hands i see the lord removing a veil from your life a veil a veil a veil as i was ministering i looked at you and i wasn't seeing your face and the lord said deal with that demonic veil i remove the veil from your face i remove the veil out i command the veil be destroyed now i rip off the veil the veil of witchcraft the veil that the enemy used to cover people in your family to hinder them from stepping into their marital destiny i command the veil right now let it be removed by fire by fire by fire by fire now let her go 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 in the name of jesus and look at me i want to deal with that power that molests you that oppress you do you understand what i'm saying I want to end that oppression i see that you are being oppressed in the night there's a strange being that comes to oppress you and you have prayed you have fasted and it looks like when you pray and fast it ceases and then it comes again 
because I'm seeing the attack in the last few days. I'm seeing particularly on Monday night. Huh? Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus, I judge that altar in your family that empowers this spirit. I judge it now. I judge it now. Break in the name of Jesus and let her go. Let her and her siblings go. Let her and her sisters go. In the name of Jesus, I release the fire of God now. Fire! Let her go. I end the molestation. I end the oppression. You are loose. In the name of the Lord Jesus, it ends. It ends. It ends. The last oppression is the last one you experience. The power is broken. I release you. I release your sisters. I release you from the power of this altar. I end the demonic molestation. And I release you to your destiny. This is your time. This is your time. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I don't know. There's a Felicia that the Lord just mentioned to me. He said, pray for Felicia. Pray for Felicia. Pray for Felicia. Pray for Felicia. I don't know who that is, but the Lord just said, pray for Felicia. Break the power of death. Pray. Pray. Is there such Felicia here? Is there Felicia? The Lord says, pray for Felicia. Break the power of death. Break the power of death. Break the power of death. Father, in the name of Jesus, I break the power of death over Felicia. I break the power of death. Felicia shall not die. Felicia shall not die. Because I'm seeing a prolonged illness that Felicia has been going through. If she's your sister, your family member, just stand for her. I see Felicia with a prolonged illness. Huh? She your sister. Your sister. Come. Your sister. I'm seeing a prolonged illness. And the Lord said, pray. Is that a condition? A prolonged illness. Father, thank you. He said, arrest death. Arrest death. Arrest death. I'm, I'm seeing that Pelicia has had like surgeries. Surgeries. I'm seeing multiple surgeries. And right now I'm seeing a condition where the doctor is saying there will also be a need for another surgery. She has had multiple surgeries. I'm seeing a condition. And the Lord said, pray against death. Pray against death. Pray against death. Because I'm actually seeing, like in this condition, they need to remove some like lumps, growths. Something that is life-threatening. I'm seeing it looking like cancer. That needs to be removed that needs to be removed i'm seeing lumps and the lord says speak over felicia and say she will not die she will not die you will speak with her there is a miracle taking place in her body she will go back to the hospital and it will be confirmed that the miracle has taken place come it will be confirmed her doctor will tell her that there's no need for surgery. There's going to be a walking of miracle right now. Because I'm seeing that that surgery is supposed to lead to death. But the Lord says it is cancel. It is cancel. It is cancel. I release a miracle right now. I release healing into our body. I command the lumps and the growths to dissolve, to disappear. In the name of the Lord Jesus. And even you, the Lord is touching you. The Lord is touching you. The Lord is touching you. Father, I release your healing power right now. I release your touch. Touch! Let the power of God search through your body. Let the pain down. Be gone. Be gone. Be gone. 
be gone in the name of Jesus thank you father thank you father that sharp pain is gone that sharp pain sharp pain I'm saying you woke up this morning with that sharp pain when you woke up from the bed you couldn't stand upright because of the pain right now I cost that pain I command you go in the name of the Lord Jesus go and return no more go and return no more in the name of the Lord Jesus look at me God is remembering you I see a book of remembrance open for you and I'm seeing God opening some doors and promoting you even in the place of your walk in the place of your walk I'm seeing promotion I'm even seeing like you representing the institution the institute I'm saying you representing the institute I'm saying there's something that shortly after now you will need to do in Lagos that has to do with your career with your office I'm saying you representing your institute and as a matter of fact you've actually been praying for this breakthrough you've been praying for the breakthrough with your career the institute is supposed to send someone to represent her and it's supposed to be in Lagos in a Kedja. the Lord release a breakthrough for you I release favor for you I release promotion for you in the name of Jesus let the favor of God come upon you enter your new season let your gift make room for you in the name of Jesus thank you father thank you father thank you father thank you father oh thank you Lord Jesus thank you Lord Jesus it is done call your sister after the service tell her that she's healed and she will call you a few days later to confirm that God has done a miracle in her body in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ I'm seeing someone your eyes itch it itches you a lot God is touching the eyes right now God is healing the eyes God is touching people's eyes eyes you have your eye condition your eyes itch it causes you pain it brings out tears the Lord heals it right now the Lord heals it right now I release the healing power of God right now right now because I'm seeing while I was preaching you were touching your eyes Nanko you were touching your eyes while I was preaching right now I command in the name of Jesus let the hand of God touch you that's your mom mommy come can you bring her Jesus Jesus Father thank you thank you for your healing power thank you for your healing power mama you're welcome thank you Jesus thank you Jesus thank you Jesus Lord, God is not only touching your eyes. What's wrong with her legs? Arthritis. So she can walk well. Father, in the name of Jesus, I release your healing power right now. I command your eyes, heal! Your blinding spirit, come out! Come out! In the name of Jesus. Let your eyes be healed. Let your vision be restored. Let your eyes be perfected. Let every itching, let every blood vision, let it be gone. Heal! Heal! In the name of the Lord Jesus, let your vision be perfected. Let the pain and the discomfort go. In the name of Jesus, and I cause arthritis. I cause arthritis. I command her try to come out of her bones come out of her bones come out of the hand come out of the finger come out of the toes come out of the bones heal Amen. 
in the name of Jesus put your hand around her waist put your hand around her waist heal from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet be healed be healed be healed in the name of Jesus Christ I want her to check mommy check your legs check your legs check your legs check your legs I want you to walk you will walk better walk walk the power of God is on you walk walk fast walk walk fast walk can you see mommy walking upright mommy walk just walk just walk the pains are gone just walk 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 can you see how mommy is happy mommy run 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 she's excited mama run mama run mama run hallelujah how do you feel tell me what happened to you mayor faru you are healed your healing is permanent in Jesus name a mama look your eyes ask her what has happened to her eyes can you see me clearly you can see me clearly you can see me clearly so what has happened to your eyes what has happened to your eyes after the prayer she says you can see me clearly so check her check her amen Check her and tell me what has happened to her. Can you give Jesus praise? Give Jesus praise. Give Jesus praise. The pains are gone. It is gone. It will return no more. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Sir, what is happening to your heart? What is happening to you? I want to pray for you. Yes. Yeah, I want to pray for you. I want to pray for you. What is it with your heart? You can breathe well, breathing condition. Like you can't breathe very well, freely. You can't breathe freely. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus, I release your healing power right now. I command your heart, your lungs, your respiratory tract, heal! In the name of Jesus, heal! In the name of Jesus, let your breathing be perfected. Let it be perfected. Let it be perfected. In the name of the Lord Jesus, and Lord, I pray for your servant that in this season you will stretch your hand. I declare that everything that the enemy has stolen from his life, let it be restored. Let his health be restored. Let his glory be restored. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ you are healed you are healed I want you to bend like this because if you bend you feel the pain now you can't feel it now you can't feel it so do what you couldn't do you can't feel any pain no pain around the ribs the chest the lungs you are healed your healing is permanent in the name of the Lord Jesus. God bless you, sir. Oh, thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Father, thank you. Can you bless the Lord? Can you give him glory? Can you give him praise? Can you give him praise? There's someone the Lord is touching your ears. The Lord is touching your ears. I'm seeing like pain. Pain around one of your ears. Pain. You feel pain. And sometimes you hear sound sound in the ears I want you to put a finger in that ear put a finger in that ear if you are that person put a finger put one of your finger in that ear that ear that troubles you father in the name of Jesus I command that pain go I release healing into your ears I command your ears be healed right now be healed right now be healed right now in the name of Jesus I command the pain go even that sound in the ear I command the sound to leave right now return no more in the name of Jesus so just check 
check the ear check the ear you find out the pain is gone and the sound you feel is no longer there just check the moment you confirm that can you wave your hands and if you are following us online the same healing power of god is touching your ears it's touching your ears it's touching your ears who is that person check your ears and confirm it now check your ears the pain is gone you are healed you are totally healed you are totally healed if you find out the pain is gone can you wave your hand let me see wave your hand wave your hand wave your hand the pain is gone thank you lord jesus thank you lord jesus thank you lord jesus oh jesus we give you glory we give you glory we give you glory we praise you lord thank you 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 father rebuke every eye condition if you have any trouble with your eyes just put your hand there in your eyes maybe you can look at the lights you have pain short-sightedness long-sightedness i command that condition go in the name of jesus i rebuke you blinding spirits come out of your eyes i command your eyes healed right now let your eyes be totally healed totally healed totally healed let the pain go let the itching go let your vision be restored let the blood vision be cleared heal in the name of the lord jesus christ i want to check the eyes just check the eyes check the eyes check the eyes you find out the pain is gone you can see clearly i want you to wave your hands wave your hands wave your hands you can see clearly come come my dear come you find out that the condition is gone you can see clearly with your eyes you can see clearly with your eyes yeah there are like two more people check your vision again if you can't read tiny print just check it your eyes are healed in the name of the lord jesus even those following us online god is healing the eyes of people right now is healing the eyes of people right now in the name of jesus thank you father 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 check your eyes pastor bat please i want to know come what happened to you give her the mic or put the mic for her actually um I've just um, had eye issues. Um, I'm just keen in. Um, my father is blind. My grandfather went blind before he died. There is um, let's say glaucoma and um, whatever runs in the family. Yeah. Um, some months ago, I was the nice of having high, high, um, is it eye pressure? I didn't know that the pressure of the eye could be high. So I'm just trusting God. So while we're praying, I was just trusting God that by the time I see the doctor in two months' time, that the story will be different so what happened to you after the prayer i think i just saw the brightness i was able to see clearly so now you can see clearly <laughs> clearly so do you feel any pressure on your eyes no you can see clearly now clearly, yes. clearly. clearly. can you give the lord praise <laughs> listen to me what's your name ada i declare that your healing is permanent in the name of jesus and I arrest that blinding spirit in your family. I cast it out of your family. In the name of Jesus, no more blindness. I arrest it. I declare the power is broken. No one will be blind in your family again. Not your children, not your children's children. That spirit of blindness is arrested and cast out in the name of the Lord Jesus. Not just the eyes. I'm seeing the Lord healing. I'm seeing the Lord doing a miracle for you here. You're also supposed to see the doctor. I'm seeing the Lord doing a miracle for you. Put your hand there. Father, in the name of Jesus, I command the lumps uprooted by the power of God. I cut it off. I cut it off. 
I cut it off. Heal! In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I release a miracle now. Let it dissolve, disintegrate, disappear. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. You are blessed. In Jesus' name. Can you lift up your hands and give him glory? Give him glory. Today, I, I, I feel like laying hands on people. You have any condition you want me to lay my hands on you you see there are different ways the lord heals today i feel the lord wants me to lay hands on people you want me to lay my hands on you come for healing just come just come just come that's how the lord is going to reach just put your hand there where the pain where the affliction is right now as I lay hands on you, the power of God will come on you. The power of God will come on you. The power of God will come on you. And that yoke will be broken. That yoke will be broken. Heal! In the name of the Lord Jesus. Come into her. Come into her body. Let there be a miracle in the name of Jesus. Father, let the healing touch. Heal! Heal! I command the affliction. Go! In the name of Jesus. Just take yourself as I lay my hands on you. Put your hand there. Heal! Go! The name of Jesus, I command the pain to go. I release healing now. Heal by the power of God. Heal by the power of God. Touch. 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 Heal. I break the yoke of your oppressor. I release the healing power of God right now. Rest of you. Let your eyes be totally healed in the name of Jesus. Jesus, let your power come upon you. I release the healing touch of Jesus. The healing touch of Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, I 
break the yoke of your oppression. I declare total healing. Total healing. Total healing. Check your bodies. Just check your bodies quickly. The people I lay hands on, what happened to you? In here, my tooth here got broken. Then I've been having pain. I went to see the doctor and he's candid. He said I'm supposed to remove the teeth. <laughs> but when you prayed here, when I was at the back, I was still feeling symptoms, but it's gone. It's gone. When you were at the back, you were feeling it. Right now, it's gone. You can't feel any pain. Wow, can you celebrate the Lord? She said the doctor said they were supposed to remove the tooth, but right now the pain is gone. Your healing is permanent in the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. What happened to you, my dear? Diagnosed of kidney stones. After we attached, she'd taken lots of water. If not, that it will lead to surgery. I started taking lots of water and it got better. But after some time, I was still feeling that pain again. Even I was coming here, I was still feeling that excruciating pain. But because of the prayers, I discovered that I no longer feel that pain. You can't feel the pain. Touch it. Touch it. So be, before now, if you touch it, you feel the excruciating pain. Just like that, it's just be aching me. Like and you were, you were feeling the pain before the prayer. Yes, when I was coming. And it's gone. Yes. Your healing is permanent. No more kidney stone. In the name of the Lord Jesus, you are totally healed. Where are the other people? Check yourselves. Check yourselves. You want to tell us what happened? So come. Check yourselves. What happened to you? Yeah, like a groot. Come, come close. You had a sharp. Yeah, since I think since last week. A pain I or a groot. I can't touch it. But now I'm even looking for where it's been in me. I don't know where exactly. You don't know where exactly because the pain is gone. Else. Can you give Jesus praise? Healing is the children's bread. Your healing is permanent in the name of the Lord Jesus. There were many of you here. Can you wave your hands? You find out the pain, the symptoms is gone. Where are they? Come, come and tell us what happened to you. Come. If you find out after the laying on of hands that you have been healed, just come quickly. Tell us what has happened to you. Can we do that? Just quickly. One, two, three. If there are more people, just come. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I used to have uh, a dental pain and I was trying to find where it was by the time we we're done I was trying to locate where it is I couldn't find it but you had the pain before the I prayer I used to have the pain but now I tried to locate where you can't exactly even find where the pain is because the pain is gone can you give Jesus praise your healing is permanent in Jesus name Uzo what happened I had an irritation on my face and my neck and I've tried it over like five different times and so this last time that it came up, I told Pastor Jerry and myself that I was going to pray over it. And so when he touched me, I can't feel the itching and I feel my feet like everything has disappeared. Can you celebrate the Lord? Your healing is permanent in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I've had very sharp abdominal pain. And sometimes it gives me fever all over and pain. But you laid hands on me. You felt like I cold feel water. Paul very relieved. Head. Your healing is permanent. Can you celebrate Jesus? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My own is, uh, I have something on my neck and the 
swelling of the hands. I cannot even turn the leg like this neck since last week. So this morning, I wake up, I want to turn my neck. My neck refused to turn like this unless I will turn all my body. So I tell God that I will be here by his grace. As I came here, I started praying. I said, Lord, I'm on a healing grounds today. I want to receive my healings. And by the time you pray and touch my body, it's as if they remove something from my body. All the pains just disappear. Amen. So turn your neck now. Turn your neck now. Turn your neck. Hallelujah. Can you see? Can you see? Father, our healing is permanent in the name of the Lord Jesus. And let me see your hand. So, so what happened to your hand too? It has gone down now. In the name of Jesus, let the swelling be completely gone. By the time you wake up tomorrow, I declare all the swellings are gone. In the name of Jesus, your healing is permanent. Can you celebrate the Lord? Can you celebrate the Lord? Just lift up your hands. Can we stand on your, our feet? Healing is the children's bride. Father, thank you for the healing miracles. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus, just wave your hands. Just wave your hands. Just wave your hands. Just wave your hands. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. There's another person the Lord has healed your kidney. That pain around your kidney. You were told that your kidney is swelling. The Lord has healed your kidney. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus, I declare total healing for everyone. In the name of the Lord Jesus. And if you are following us online, I release the healing power of God into your body. I command your eyes be healed. I command ears be healed. I command your kidney, your heart, your liver, your vitals be healed in the name of the Lord Jesus. I declare total healing in your body. No more oppression. No more oppression. No more affliction. In the name of the Lord Jesus. And Father, right now we declare every hand lifted up. Lord, let there be supernatural interventions. Let there be miracles for family now. Let the needs of your people receive an urgent attention. An urgent attention. Let there be miraculous intervention. I declare let there be miraculous intervention with your finances, with your finances, with your family. Let the hand of God move right now. Let the hand of God move right now. I'm seeing a family that is having a lawsuit. There is a contention over a land. Wherever you are, wave your hands. Your family is having a contention now over a land. Just come quickly. Our time is spent. But I decree right now, in the name of the Lord Jesus, in the name of the Lord Jesus, let the hand of God come upon you. Let the hand of God come upon your family. Let there be a breakthrough right now. I invoke the hand of God. Stretch your hand towards them. I invoke the hand of God for your family. I invoke the hand of God for your family. Let the report turn in favor of your family. Let the case turn in favor of your family. Let the case turn in favor of your family. The next time you hear about the case, there will be a testimony. The next time you hear about the lawsuit, there will be a testimony. Let it turn for your favor. Let it turn for your favor. Let that landed property be given to your family. Let the situation turn. Let the property be handed to your family in the name of the Lord Jesus. I declare within now the next six weeks, let there be a testimony. I speak it forth right now. I command a testimony for your family. Let the Lord who is the judge of the whole earth arise for your family. Let victory be given to your family now. In the name of the Lord Jesus. I declare it is done. It is done. Go and return with your testimony. Make sure you give us the feedback. We want to hear your testimony. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name. You can go back to your seat. You can. Kenneth, including you, 
Come. Okay, you serve as an usher. Amen. Kenneth just came back. Where is your wife? All right, all right. We'll have time to bless you people. Kenneth and his wife married last week, two, two weekends ago. We're glad to have you. You're welcome. Can you celebrate them? Amen and amen. Lift up your hands. I hear God releasing miracles. Miracles for families. Miracles that will wipe away the tears of your family. I declare it release right now. Release right now. In the name of Jesus. I'm seeing someone, the doctor say you have a low blood pressure. I declare let your blood pressure be upgraded. In the name of Jesus. That one with high blood pressure, I speak to it right now. And I command your blood pressure, come back to normal. Be healed. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I'm seeing someone, you have a sister. And there's a medical report that she has a tumor. A tumor. A tumor. A tumor. I want to pray for that person. You have a sister. The doctor says she has a tumor. Is, is there somebody... Is that hand lifted for this purpose? In the name of the Lord Jesus, I declare a miracle for your sister. Wherever you are following me from, I declare a miracle for your sister. I command that tumor to dissolve. I command that tumor to dissolve. I command that tumor to dissolve. There is a woman right now, the doctor said, with all the medical work that you have done, it will not be possible for you to conceive. Father, I release a miracle right now. I release a miracle right now. You are following us from the U.S. I release a miracle. You are watching right now. I release the power of God into your womb. I command that report to change. Go and conceive. Go and conceive. Go and conceive in the name of Jesus. And wherever you are trusting the Lord for the fruit of the womb, I declare let your miracle be released. Let your miracle be released. In the name of Jesus, we command financial release right now. Financial interventions right now. Financial interventions right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus. There's someone I, I have prayed for for many years. And it gives me joy. The Lord gave the person a breakthrough job. The Lord gave the person a job to cover the tears of many years. And I give the Lord praise for that. And everyone trusting the Lord for a job, for a miraculous job, for a miracle with respect to job, you want the Lord to show up for you. I decree in the name of Jesus, let it be released right now. In this month, receive your testimony. In this month, receive your job. In the name of the Lord Jesus. I say the Lord intervening with debt. I say debt cancellation. Debt cancellation debt cancellation there is someone your mom is a trader she has incurred so much debt there were certain people who collected goods from her they were supposed to pay they couldn't pay her she couldn't pay the people she bought from and she's been so much debt under so much pressure right now i decree in the name of jesus there is an intervention now there is an intervention now i hear the lord says within now the next seven days the debt will be cancelled the debt will be cancelled it is cancelled now in the name of the Lord Jesus. Anyone that is under the yoke of death, I command that death, let it be cancelled. Let there be an intervention. If you believe that, shout amen. amen. I'm seeing up to three people right now here. You are in a debt from a business transaction. Lift up your hands high. You are in a debt from a business transaction. I decree supernatural intervention. Let the hand of God be released. Let the depths be cleared. Let the depths be cleared. Let the depths be cleared. In the name of the Lord Jesus. There is someone I'm seeing. Your father retired from work, from civil service. And right now he's having blood, high blood pressure, diabetes. So much has gone wrong, even financially. And your family is under so much financial pressure. I declare the interventions of God. I declare that money is released for your family. I declare healing for your father. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Father, everyone that needs a miracle right now, 
I ask that you stretch forth your hand in their direction. Miracles in your body. Receive miracles in your finances. Receive miracles in your job. Receive miracles for your family. Receive miracles for your family. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I declare marital interventions. I declare miracles of marriages. Let it be released right now. Let it be released right now. Let it be released right now. There is someone hearing me. Within now and the next three months, you are going to conceive. You are going to conceive. You are going to conceive. Right now, the power of God is touching your womb. The power of God is touching your womb. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. I see the Lord releasing finances. I see families who started building and the building project were stuck. I release supernatural intervention. I release supernatural intervention. Let there be a miracle. Let there be a miracle. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. There's someone your mom is using like a cane. She fell from me like a staircase she fell from a staircase she fell the hand of god is healing her right now thank you father in the name of the lord jesus christ particularly i hear the lord says i'm bringing financial interventions for families financial interventions financial interventions there are some of you that by the close of the year your family's finances would have changed in many fold. Many fold. Many fold. Many fold. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Receive the help of God. Receive the help of God. It is done. It is done. In Jesus' precious name. Can you wave your hands and praise Him? And thank Him. You believe you will see the glory of God. Can you thank him? Can you thank him? There's someone I see you've been applying for jobs in several places. In the last one year, you've applied over 10 times and you are discouraged. God says, this is your season. This is your season. This is your time. It is done. In Jesus' precious name. Can you bless the Lord? 